Okay, so up next we have uh, Moinmir uh, Mutni presenting on efficient high dimensional Bayesian optimization with additivity and quadrature Fourier features. Good afternoon, everybody. So I'll be talking about high dimensional Bayesian optimization. Uh, this is a joint work with Andras Krause from ETH Zurich. So we're interested in finding a global maximizer of a potentially nonlinear function G. Uh, on, using only noisy zero order oracle. Uh, we adopt a Bayesian perspective where we assume that the function G is sampled from a Gaussian process to enco which encodes uh, prior knowledge about the smoothness. We can also use uh, equivalent frequentness assumption. Uh, if we associate a cost to evaluating a function at a suboptimal point and sum this cost along the whole optimization procedure, we can define a metric uh, called cumulative regret and we formulate an algorithm that tries to minimize this regret along the, um, along the optimization procedure. Um, the key challenge here is that you want to explore the function in unknown domains, but yet at the same time, look in the domains where potentially a maximizer can be found. In order to, res um, to solve this dilemma, we resort to the framework of Bayesian optimization, which defines a sequential decision problem where the next decision is based uh, on a maximum of so-called utility functions, sometimes known as acquisition function. So the challenges of high dimensions are twofold. On one hand, they're statistical, which comes from information theoretical considerations. And if we want an algorithm that's statistically efficient, we need further assumptions. The assumption that we make in this work is, a, is that the function that we are trying to optimize uh, is additive, meaning that it decomposes into some of functions where each of these functions depends only on small subset of variables. Sometimes we even allow for overlap between these variable groups. And as a measure of complexity, we define so-called effective dimension, which is the size of the largest group. Uh, the computational challenges of high dimensional optimization is the main focus of our work. Uh, on one hand, since we're using Gaussian processes, there is kernel, kernel inversion uh, cost, which we significantly uh, reduce. And secondly, optimization of this acquisition function can be, can be sometimes as challenging as the original problem. We also simplify this to a simple coordinate optimization. Um, to achieve these significant improvements, we make use of integral representation of kernels. We know that every stationary kernel can be represented as a Fourier transform. And this integral can be further approximating using a sum, which leads to uh, inner product in high dimensional space also known in literature as Fourier features approximation. A standard way to construct this finite sum approximation is to sample inducing frequencies according to a Fourier transform of a kernel. This is the motivation behind the celebrated work of random Fourier features. In this work, however, we use Gaussian quadrature. Gaussian quadrature and our assumption of additivity uh, causes that we have a favorable scaling with dimension and our error on the approximation decreases exponentially with the size of the finite sum. To demonstrate the quality of this approximation, suppose that we are trying to optimize this function and we have these noisy, uh, noisy point evaluations. If we fit our Gaussian posterior mean and confidence estimates, we see that it fits the data nicely and extends also to the unknown part of the domain. If we had used uh, random Fourier features, we see that the unknown part of the domain, the, uh, the posterior mean and confidence estimates would be completely off. With the smaller size of basis size, smaller finite sum approximation, we are able to completely recover the posterior mean and the confidence estimates uh, using our approximation. So the main contribution of this paper is first, efficient and provably accurate high dimensional Bayesian optimization using additive models. The ingredients which allow us to formulate this algorithm is firstly that quadrature Fourier features are provably better than random Fourier features for additive kernels. We are able to provide high quality approximation and analytical form of posterior samples from a GP uh, with additive model, the Thomson sampling, which is a one form of acquisition function, popular acquisition functions, decomposes over the variable groups, over the additive variable groups, and leads to op efficient optimization algorithm using just one pass of coordinate descent. And Thomson sampling is also no regret for a squared exponential kernel. Uh, if you want to know more, please come to our poster 23. Thank you.